What's up Star Wars fans, welcome to another SH Figure Arts action figure review. This time we're looking at C-3PO, obviously, as he's standing right in front of you. Um, I do have the correct box for this video. So we've got C-3PO, just the standard look to the packaging, a figure on, on the side, pictures on the back, got to get that R2 now. And that's about it, that's the exciting bit of the box. Ready to go in the bin. <laughs> Now, uh, in terms of C-3PO's, this could be one of the better ones. Um, if you're looking for a 3PO figure in the 6-inch scale that's just, you know, a little bit better. The Black Series ones are decent, but if you want something that's still just a little bit better, this might be the one for you. Um, in terms of accessories, it does come with a switch-out faceplate. Of course, this one here has the dent. Whereas this one doesn't. But it's a nice looking, nice looking droid. And uh, being that it is quite a clean looking figure, it definitely gives customizers that option to weather him up a little bit. Um, whereas when they do sell them, um, weathered, it's hard to it's hard to clean them up to a nice shiny droid like this. So that definitely gives options um, to those that like to customize. I'm probably going to leave it alone, to tell you the truth. I like him the way he is. And uh, yeah, it's just a quite a nice looking figure. So he does come with these two, two just sort of standard looking hands. He also comes with a pair of slightly closed hands. And then sort of pinching hands. Um, focus there we go and uh, you also get the tiny little com link as you can see that is removable um, but I'm afraid of losing that that is tiny so I think I'm just gonna keep that aside in my accessories tin uh, box but uh, overall detail on this figure is really quite nice um, I really like all the wires in the middle there and uh, unlike the Black Series 1, his elbows are articulated. And I've just pulled a hand off. His elbows are articulated. I know the Black Series are putting out another one soon with articulated elbows. So everyone will be able to upgrade that figure. But uh, I'm pretty damn happy with this one. It's got a nice, nice metallic looking finish. It's not super gl glossy. It's not mirrored. Um, like he is in some scenes in the film. But uh, it's got a nice sheen to it, a really nice, really nice shine to it. And you're not going to get dirty fingerprints all over it, and it's not going to show up like that. So, the only one thing I do wish is maybe, maybe somehow the eyes could have been lightened, lit, lit up somehow, because they sort of look a little bit, unless you shine it into the light, they look a little bit dead. Um, just should have been some way to brighten them up, I'm not sure how. Um, I'm sure there's someone that could probably customize it with some LEDs, but uh, that might be a little bit tricky. There's not a lot of room in there to work with, but uh, I'm, I'm still quite happy with it. I'm uh, looking forward to getting the R2 to go with him. That'll be in the next one on my list, I think. And of course, the one silver leg. Just overall, this looks like a great figure, nice, great details. I like all the, just the line work throughout the sculpting of the, uh, of the metal plates. Protecting him from being naked. It's quite a nice figure. I definitely recommend this one. I'm, I'm pretty happy to have this one. I got this for a sweet deal on eBay. Didn't pay an arm and a leg and I had some money in my PayPal account from selling some things before I went away. Um, so I had some money sitting there. So I just thought I'd buy the bullet and get, get a SH Figure Arts figure that I, I really wanted. So hope you guys have enjoyed having a look at this one. I'm hoping to get the R2-D2 next, like I said. Um, and maybe a couple more on my hit list for the near future. So let me know in the comments below what you think and I'll be back very soon with some more videos and uh, yeah, we'll see what I've got. Until then, may the force be with you guys.